Hello people, you are very welcome back to the channels Tapa Olho Azul and Super Academico with one more video in English here in the channels. So today I'm going to continue uh, my reading of the book New Rules of Sociological Method from by <laughs> Anthony Giddens as I presented in the last English video. This is a sociologist, um, a British sociologist, and he has very nice ideas how to improve the methods, the methodology in sociology these days. So, um, uh, before I begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channels, both channels, and give, give us the like. Uh, the like for the video comments share and and do anything that you want with the video <laughs> uh, well in the first video I made the introduction introduction of the the book and I said some of the guidelines of the of, of, of what uh, will uh, will develop our all, all along the video, all along the, the, the book. In the chapter one, uh, he, the title is, he says, Some Schools of Social Theory and Philosophy. Um, as I, I see at this point of my reading, he, he, he wants to take some of the ideas from the uh, uh, 20th, 20th century and develop into uh, methods, methodologies and theories that helps the social theory to develop better. Okay, so let's go. And the first thing that he comes uh, to, to, to attention is called the hermeneutic, hermeneutic philosophy. Portuguese is a lot easier to say philosophy hermeneutica, in English, hermeneutic philosophy. Well, uh, the idea is that uh, some, some authors, no, some philosophers, have to uh, understand the social problems through the, uh, the way of in to, to make, no, to produce an interpretation about what is happening in society. This philosophy uh, basis, he uh, he, he quotes uh, two uh, authors, Gadamer, Gadamer, that's a, a French philosopher, and Heidegger, and Martin Heidegger, that's a German philosopher from the 20th century. And so, by the Lindy figure in contemporary hermeneutic philosophy, Gadamer. Gadamer's work is itself profoundly influenced by one offshoot of the phenomenological tradition that represented by Heidegger. So, there is a connection between, uh, between this hermeneutic uh, philosophy and the phenomenolo phenomenological tradition introduced by uh, Edmund Husserl and following, followed by Heidegger and Sartre too, for example Sartre. Um, was to establish a philosophical scheme that transcends empirical knowledge. So the idea is have some basis uh, for the analysis that transcends the empirical, the empirical, the experience, uh, the practical knowledge that comes from the everyday life in the social life. Next. Um, it says, where is it? Uh, all consciousness is intentional. That's a typical thing from the phenomenology, phenomenology and um, yeah, phenomenology. Uh, that conscious, consciousness always has an object that constitutes it. There is no conscious, consciousness 
empty, empty consciousness. It's always an object in it. Uh, consequently, epistemology implies ontology. Knowledge implies being, and the objective, although not the real, has no significance except in so far as consciousness is directed. So, as I understand this statement, uh, the, the social facts, uh, the social, uh, sociological uh, phenomena, when they are approached by uh, a researcher, a uh, uh, sociologist, the consciousness, consciousness, uh, uh, the, uh, the subjectiveness of the sociologist in interferes in the uh, uh, in the approach of the object. That's the call intention. Uh, that is the, the intention that comes from the phenomenology. Phenomenology. Um, one more, just uh, uh, one more, one more uh, highlights. One more highlight. Intentionally, no, intentionality, intentionality involves the uh, an act of ideation, ideation. And ideation uh, comes from the, the idea word. So uh, the intention that he, they are talking about comes from the idea. So the, uh, what I see is what I am prepared to see as I have the the, the knowledge the, the pre-knowledge to see something that others can't see so not something special something that is inherent of the of the subject of the, 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 the person uh, which is quite distinct from the object of attention itself and consequently it is this which is the focus of Husserl's, uh, Edmund Husserl's interest, since if in the epoch, uh, uh, that means uh, the suspension of, of mind, the suspension of mind, uh, we uh, brackets all empirical particulars, it seems as if we are able to penetrate to the essence essence of the consciousness so uh, in this matter when someone is looking at something uh, studying something thinking about something this something is the object but this object only exists in the way of the observer because of his intention so that is basically the phenomenological intention let's see the word intentionality the ordinary assumptions, assumptions that we make about the physical world, about other people and about ourselves in our day-to-day -day life are treated by the early hustle as just so much bric-a-brac that has to be cleared away in order to reveal subjectivity, subjectivity in its pure form. Well, it says free from bias. That's impossible. It's not free from bias. It's full of bias. Full of bias. So, uh, continuing, um, mundane existence was to be constituted phenomenolog phenomenologically. See how others can be regarded as any more than just another intentional project of consciousness. So, I as a researcher, a social researcher, I have one consciousness with intentionality. And everybody, every person that I am studying, that I am observing in my research as a social researcher, also has uh, the same characteristic uh, the same consciousness with intentionalities so the reconnaissance of this affects the way that you formulate your uh, your methodology your methodology to you for your research so 
transcendent ego can be I don't know, okay it's uh, already said over other kinds of knowledge thus for Husserl intentionality is an internal relation of subjects and objects yeah? a relation between objects you see object and subject and uh, uh, influ influence all the uh, me uh, phenomenological method that uh, search the essence of the thing that you are observing that you, that you are looking at uh, the, it's not a grandiose mental act is able to shed the empirical world is dependent upon the beginning point uh, so the point of view of the researcher is what affects the way that the the objects that are uh, in, in, in research uh, get get uh, get to be understand and get to be uh, evaluate get to be see by the one that are researching the one that are looking at the objects so this is basically the the thing that are the, the that Giddens are uh, presenting from the hermeneutic hermeneutic philosophy with phenomenological base. Então vejam que uh, see that I, I I speak sorry I I I began <laughs> I began to think in Portuguese in the middle of the thing. So. Uh, he was led, uh, the, the Gadamer, no, Hussel, Hussel. Hussel was led to abandon the distinction between sense and reference altogether in favor of the meaning co conferring, conferring ideation. Ideational act. Ide act from an idea. Act from an idea. Uh, Living in a world. Uh, movement from existence to existence. Uh, this the base, the phenomenological base for the uh, exist existentialism. Existentialism. Uh, the self in the world that uh, applies to everyone. Of applying phenomenological ideas to resolve pre-existing problems of sociology. So uh, this is the, the the way that the uh, the line of this philosophy helps the sociology to to develop a new kind, a new way to look at the social problems, um, so the scientific problems, not social problems in the common sense, but the sense that uh, problems from the social science. And then he goes to uh, Schultz. That's another author then uh, from the eth ethno methodology. Uh, his program is actually completely devoted to the descriptive phenomenolo phenomenology, phenomenology of the life world. So uh, the description of the everyday life in a way that the subjects can uh, show, né, can appear with their own uh, real intentionality to life. Um, uh, they are developed the they they develop two kinds of ideas né? first um, what is the sense of Weber's phrase in that in action as contrasted to reflexive behavior the actor attaches a meaning to what she or he does and second in social action how does the actor experience others as separate persons with their own subject experience. So these questions that are put uh, serves to reflect what the, the, the way that the phenomenological approach can help to understand this kind of a problem, uh, this kind of a construction of, of meaning in the uh, every days of social life. Uh, it is mistaken to suppose that we attach meaning, attach meaning to action that is being lived through, since we are immersed in the action itself. 
Well, I understand that uh, when we uh, do things, we mostly we do because we believe in the meaning of the thing. Uh, uh, from the most uh, simple things to the most complex and overthinking, overthought things that we do, there are, there is this meaning that we attach to the action so we can do that uh, it can be even a, a, a way to uh, survive uh, a way to please others uh, in a sense that uh, something that I don't believe uh, I don't believe entirely but I, I believe that is necessary to keep the relations in the in in the group that I'm part of, so I think that's uh, that's that's a difficult thing, uh, difficult thing to to develop and uh, to to elaborate as a science. So uh, in this way, this uh, hermeneutic approach can help sociology to develop a more a more deep way to understand the social. Uh, the social subjects and uh, let's see more thus is even misleading to say that experiences are intrinsically meaningful only the red experience is meaningful not that which is being experienced and uh, it seems correct to, to, to assume that when we are doing something we don't elaborate the meaning, but afterwards. Should criticize Weber for not distinguishing the project of an action, its orientation to a future attainment, from its because motive. Well, it's easy to criticize someone that's already dead, but I think that's, that's valid to grow the science with this kind of uh, criticism. The connection or linkage is brought into being through an intentional act of mind whereby I turn to the total complex of my past experience. So in this way, the sociological analysis with this method, with this approach, the hermeneutic approach, using phenomenology uh, seems to be very very personal and not only an elaboration of a whole of society I think it gets closer to anthropology and psychology and and gets more uh, gets uh, at, um, developed a, a better attention to the details details of the people that are part of the the collectiveness collectiveness of the group sorry were involved in the one actual and the many marginal topical relevances relevances sorry with layers of our personality on different levels of depth depth <laughs> these words are in Portuguese, we have profundidade, morte, dívida. In English, you have death, depth, death. So, death, death, deep, deep, level, levels of death. And uh, as I was saying, uh, uh, when you approach the social problem with this detail, uh, this uh, when you go deep into the the people that are part of the so, uh, of the social problem, you can have a very uh, very different way to analyze uh, to see uh, relationships. It's part of the normal competence of a so social actor to shift between such provinces of meaning to be able to transfer. For example, from the utilitarian words of labor into the realm of the sacred or into the play 
is fear. So uh, it's, it makes sense. Uh, in the everyday life, we have many understandings about the action that are involved. Uh, labor, uh, uh, leisure, family, uh, religion and sacred, he mentioned. It's normally experienced by the actor as a shock, a dis disjunction between different worlds. Uh, that's why we need the, the, the rituals of change uh, in, in, in situations. Eh? When you get into a church or something like that, a sacred place, you have some kind of ritual of change. So this is the shock. Uh, what else can I say here for Schultz? The social word is strictly speaking my word or as he says in more tec technical vein the words is essentially only something dependent upon and still within the operating intentionality of an ego consciousness and of course uh, it, it, for for to have a meaning in the social world you have to you have to have the the ego and the person the subject the subject subjectiveness uh, working there to, to apply the, the meaning. Having adopted the starting point of phenomenological reduction, Schultz is unable to reconstitute social reality as an object word. So it's a reconfiguration, it's another way to interpret the social problems, the social carries. Uh, inquiries social inquiries so uh, giddens mentions showed some some other times the problem of intersubjectivity intersubjectivity start out accepting the existence of the social world social world and finally this that social analysis must encompass encompass much more than the clarification of what is taught about the social world by those living in it but that's it something that not mentioned by the consciousness consciousness of the actor but the problem is that oh, we finish the the the, the parts then it goes to eth ethnomethodology he was talking about uh, hermeneutic yeah, existential phenomena phenomenology of shoots and hermeneutic philosophy next is ethnomethodology but it's connected in, in both things but i will stop because of the length of the video but uh, the, uh, as i was saying the very the, the biggest problem is that uh, what people and uh, what uh, individuals see in their lives uh, is often ignored by sociology in the classical way uh, in the, the the way that uh, the, the whole is has own meaning uh, for Karl Marx for Max Weber for Emil Durkheim for the classical sociology uh, the individual uh, the, the individual the person, the single person, uh, usually are not uh, taken in, 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 uh, taken in, in, in taken into account, taken into account. So, uh, when this new methodology uh, is used and value the the single, uh, the single person and what th this single person sees and says about his life and the problem that are in analysis so that's uh, something that's a very different way to analyze to, to study and uh, to research so uh the video got too long i think i had a problem with the light but so uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and 
next time né, next video i'll continue this this book i'll still read this book and develop my own understanding and if you enjoy please uh, subscribe to the channels give the like comments make questions debates and share okay see you next time bye bye